we go for real? I'll s describe the food you give me the country. All right. What's the country known for a vinegared rice paired with raw fish, vegetables, or other ingredients often wrapped in seaweed? What's the country known for this food? It's not China. China is known for uh, spicy stuff. The food, my friends, of course, is sushi. But what's the country? The country known for sushi is, of course, Japan. Well done to you. Japan is the correct answer. Well done, Maylin, Shake Shake, David, Amanda, Sena, Kat, TBT, Gal, Trinity, and Dida in the top 10. Ryan, Meta, Chainsmokers, and Marsha. So close. Well done, well done. Japan was the country, of course, known for sushi. Do you like sushi? I'm not really a sushi fan, not enough meat. I like, I like meat. I, I eat like three times more meat than the average meat eater. <laughs> I like meat, okay? Here we go. What's the country known for a soft and crispy or crispy tortilla filled with meat, cheese, vegetables, and salsa? What's the country known for the food that is a soft or crispy tortilla filled with meat, cheese, vegetables, and of course, salsa? Ah, 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 ah! What's the food, guys? What's the food? A soft or a crispy tortilla? I prefer crispy. I like the crunch. I really like the crunch of tacos. And I also like tacos. Can there be uh, beans in tacos? Or is that a burrito? Because I do like beans in my taco. Um, which is, of course, from Mexico. Yes, sir. Mexico in the chat, known for its tacos. Malin, Gal, Cat, Re, Mar, Luna, Mami, Trinity, Shake Shake, Precious Joy in the top 10. TBT, Dida, Ryan, so close. What's up, Mexico? Well done to you. We are playing What's the Country based on the food. And this food is a buttery, flaky, crescent shaped pastry often enjoyed for breakfast. But what's the country? Did you know that crescent shaped is a shape? Crescent. Crescent is a shape. C-R-E-S-C-E-N-T. A buttery, flaky, crescent shaped pastry often enjoyed for breakfast. What's the food linked to what country? The food. The flaky crescent shaped is of course a croissant. A croissant, oui. Un croissant. Croissant. Um, with some butter. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're from France. I'm sorry. Um, the country is France. Well done to you. <laughs> Re, well done. Uh, Senna, Gel, Skaska, Amanda, Rina, Daisy, Fran, Mar, Shake Shake in the top 10, Luna, Camilla, and TBT. So close. Honestly, though, croissants are delicious. A freshly baked butter croissant. Ooh, just delicious. Thank you very much. Um, well done. It was France. Here is the next country. This one is wrong. 
ChatGPT is wrong for this one. I'll give you the answer. Guys, this is this is bonus. Um, this is bonus. A grilled pe beef patty served in a bun, often with lettuce, cheese, and condiments. What country is it? Yes, you would say the USA, United States, but a hamburger doesn't even come from America. Hamburgers come from Germany. Come on, ChatGPT. Know your history. That was the bonus one. Just to let you chill. Just to let you chill. Tell me, guys. Tell me any real American food. Hamburgers? Germany. Fries? Which one? French fries? France. What is real American food? Pizza? Italy. Cereal, maybe. Cereal, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> taco Bell Taco Taco Be Are you serious? All right, let's move on to a real food from a real country. Not a liar like this, ChatGPT. Don't lie. This is the medium level. You just had easy level. Let's go up to medium. I am looking for a rice dish cooked with saffron, vegetables, seafood, or meats like chicken and rabbit. But what's the food linked to what country? What's the country? It's not India. No. Saffron, guys. Saffron should give it away. I will help you out. Lin is correct. The food is called paella. Paella, guys, comes from which country? I told you this is the medium level. This is not the easy level anymore. Where does paella come from? I will help you out. It's close to France. It's close to France. Actually, it's next to France. I can tell you that paella comes from Spain. Well done. Spain was the answer. Cat, Samantha, rawr. Lynn, Flo, Anna Maria, Samarsa, Eva, Caroliza, Madu in the top 10. Re, Anna, Trinity and Chainsmokers. So close. Spain, guys. Anybody from Spain in the chat? Please verify that paella comes from your country. I think it's paella pronounced paella, but I also like to say paella. Hmm. Sounds good to me anyway. Here's the next one. Well done to you. Well, let me block this account. I want to win from Trinity. Bada bing! Bada -bong. I am a speedy in blocking people. Let's go! And here's another one to block. Bada bing! Bada -bong. Baring. I am so fast. Trinity, you don't even know. All right. This is a difficult one, but I'm not going to give you a hint. Here we go. What is the country known for stir fried rice noodles with eggs, tofu, shrimp or chicken, peanuts and lime? It's not China. China does do stir-fried noodles, but not like this. If I give you the food, then it's too easy. Uh, I will tell you, there are many people in the chat from this country. And if this is your country, represent your country in the chat down below. Yes, the food is called patai. I think that's how you pronounce it. Patai. Where does patai come from, guys? P 
Pattaya. That's how it's called in Thailand. Well, the English name is Patai from Thailand. Thailand! <laughs> Welcome to Thailand! That's how they speak in Bangkok, right? Um, <laughs> sorry. If you're from Thailand, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Gal, well done. Dida, Eva, my Thai friend, Annie, Giselia, Lina, Daisy, Samarsa, Flo. Well done on your top 10 position. Elito, Cutie, and Angel. So close. Guys, is Patai spicy? I just want to know. Is Pad Thai like spicy food or not? Because it is stir fried rice noodles. It could be. It could be. Yes? No? I think it's not that spicy. Thai food is not super spicy. I think it's okay. All right. I know maybe we also have some people. I know maybe. Maybe we also have some people from this country in the chat. Because... What is the country known for a traditional fermented side dish made from cabbage and spices? A traditional fermented side dish made from cabbage and spices. Two words, guys. I have eaten this in China, but I don't like it. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not a fan. I really like the barbecue from this country. Like, the barbecue from this country is top-notch. But I don't like this particular food, which is called kimchi. Kimchi, guys. I think it's just the bitter taste of kimchi, which is not really my favorite. Kimchi, guys. Korea is not a country, for those that know. Korea is not a country. It, of course, comes from South Korea. Well done to you, South Korea, my friends. There's North Korea, South Korea, okay? Represent your country. Gal, making it back to number one. Denar, Ethan, Achilles, Chainsmokers, welcome back. Semi Kacha, Rania, Ri, April in the top ten. Meta, Genevieve, and Elsa. So close. Kimchi from South Korea. Very nice, very nice. I like it. And I'm pretty sure you will also like the next one. I actually never had the next one, but it sounds good to me. Listen, it sounds really good to me. What is the country known for French fries topped with cheese curds and smothered in gravy? Oh, French fries topped with cheese curds and smothered in gravy. It's not Belgium. No, it's not Belgium. It's the other one that also speaks French. Oh. French fries topped with cheese curds smothered in gravy is, of course, putain. Or putain. Or putain. Putain. <laughs> it's a French name, but in this country they speak both English and French. Putain. <laughs> it sounds like an almost bad word in French, which I don't want to say, guys. So I'm going to guess it's putain. French fries topped with cheese curds and smothered in gravy. Of course, comes from Canada. Canada, let's go. Don't say it. I wasn't planning on saying it. Well done, Amanda, Cecil, Dida, Re, Soy, Mio, Ethan, Vincent, Fran, Leila, and Nayan. Well done to you in your top, top, top 10 position. Canada was the right answer. Well done to you. Canada. All right. I will. I don't know if I can say this. Ah, we don't have people from this country in the chat, so we should be fine. This is the worst national dish on this list. Because 
What is the country known for deep fried fish served with thick cut fries, often with vinegar or tartar sauce? Deep fried fish served with thick cut fries, often with vinegar or tartar sauce. What is the country? It's two words, guys. A lot of you are thinking about the right country, but the correct country has two words. I want the official name. I'm teaching you proper English here. I don't know if you agree with me, but I would say this is the worst national food. Maybe the Netherlands is worse because we don't have a national food, food that is actually good. Maybe the Netherlands is worse. This might be number two. But the food, of course, is fish and chips. Fish and chips. Where do fish and chips come from? Of course, from the United Kingdom. United Kingdom. Scotland? What's the... I don't even know the national dish from Scotland. Just a bad accent is their national dish. <laughs> oh, this next one. Oh, this next one. Have I been missing it? Dory. I don't... Fish and chips normally doesn't have Dory. No. Also not Nemo, so you don't have to search for it. Um, because these are tropical fishes. This next one, delicious. Delicious. This is the last middle level. And then I'll give you the difficult ones to finish the day. This is the last for medium. I am looking for the country known for the food, which is a rich pastry made of layers of phyllo dough, nuts, honey and syrup a rich pastry made of layers of phyllo dough or phyllo dough i don't know how to pronounce it i'm gonna guess phyllo dough nuts honey and syrup this is delicious when i was a student i would always get this because i would all, all also get my dinner at the same place I would also get my dinner at the same place. So, tell me guys, tell me. What is the country known for baklava? Oh, delicious. If you're from Turkey, you're welcome to send me some baklava. Because it's delicious. Baklava, mm, mm, mm. I will eat it all. Just for this, I would go to Turkey. Well done to you. It is called Baklava, B-A-K-L-A-V-A, -A -A, from Turkey. Well done, everybody. Turkey was the answer. Gal number one, K, Ethan, T, it's me, Vincent, my B. All your names are rhyming. Carolina, Chainsmokers, and Amanda in the top ten. Shake Shake, Samarsa, and Scars. Skaska is so close. It is baklava. Delicious, guys. Alrighty. Advanced level. These are the four most difficult countries. Well, I don't know if the most difficult, but they're more difficult. In this list to finish off the day. And maybe you can learn something new about a national dish if you don't know. What is the country known for a spiced minced meat dish baked with an egg based topping often served with yellow rice? A mince, a spiced minced meat dish baked with an egg-based topic, topping often served with yellow rice. It's not India. 
It's an African country. And if I am pronouncing this correctly, the dish is called bobo tea. Bobo tea? Bobo tea. Probably is bobo tea. Where does bobo tea come from? It's an African country with two words. This country has two words. And I can kind of understand when they speak their native language. Depending where they're from, their native language could also be English. With the capital, is it Joburg? Africans, help me out. Is Joburg the capital? Johannesburg? Or is it the other one? <laughs> I always forget what the other one is. <laughs> Cape Town. <laughs> yes. Uh, Boboti comes from South Africa, which is a spiced pinsmeat meat dish baked with an egg topping, often served with yellow rice. Well done to Jam, Malin, Re, Brenda, Mio, Shake Shake, Mamarsha, User39, Gal, and Sunshine. South Africa, welcome to the chat. And if I make any mistakes, deal with it. <laughs> All right. These are the three last most difficult countries. What is the country known for a layered casserole with eggplant, minced meat, tomatoes, and... <coughs> That's what I get for making mistakes. <laughs> and a bechamel, bechamel sauce topping. Bro, I don't even know what that means. The food is called moussaka or moussaka. I have never heard of this sauce. Bechamel? Can I, can I find the pronunciation for this? I have no idea what this is. A bechamel sauce topping. Pronunciation. Bechamel. A bechamel. There you go. Bechamel. A bechamel sauce topping. Moussaka or moussaka comes from not the Roman Empire, the other one. The Greek Empire. From Greece. Bechamel topping. Greece, well done if you guessed it. That was a tough one. Maria, well done. Zoe, Slack, Anna Maria, Dira, Amanda, Gal, Ryan, Rosie, Ethan, and 30. I never cook. I don't know. I don't know. It's like a tartar sauce. Okay, that makes more sense. That does make more sense. All right. The countries left are from... I know there are people in the chat from the countries that are left. So I'm going to take out... I'm going to mark the countries I still want to do. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. <clears throat> and let's do this one. I'll give you... Ah, we're doing well. I'll give you four more countries. Four more countries for you to guess. Japan was the first country of this challenge. <laughs> so it's not this country. Here we go. What is the country known for a black bean stew with pork or beef, typically served with rice and colored greens? What is the country known for a black bean stew with pork or beef typically served with rice and colored greens? And I cannot pronounce this food. I'm just gonna look up the pronunciation. I don't even wanna try. It's like the bechamel. Bruh. The food is 
pronounce this name, the name of this dish. Brazil national dish. We'll be looking at how to say more dish names too. Why you spoil it? I just want to know the name of the dish. How it's said in Brazil. Just say it. Feijoada. 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 Thank you very much for ruining 15 seconds of my life. Feijoada. There you go. From Brazil. Well done to you. The Brazilian national dish. Bro, I can't believe he... The title of the video was how to pronounce feijoada. And then he's gonna talk for 20 seconds. That's not what I'm looking for. But well done, Gal, Kat, Bruna, Gisele, Amanda, Ron, Maylin, Sunshine, Ellen and Rosie. Represent your country, Brazil. I've been betrayed. I feel betrayed. I feel betrayed, okay? Damn, Amanda, you are the queen of the duck gang and the queen of Brazil? You, queen of everything, Amanda. The queen of feijoada. All right. Well done to you if you guessed it. <laughs> it sounds good. Hey, a black stew with beef? When I come to Brazil, eating it every day. Here we go. You will send it in the mail? I don't know if that's a good thing. What is the country known for a slow cooked spicy beef stew made with coconut milk and various spices? Raya guessing it before I said it. Well done. A slow cooked spicy beef stew made with coconut milk and various spices. What's the country? The food is of course a food I had when I was in a country. Rendang. Rendang. I'm pretty sure that's also how you pronounce it. Rendang, of course. From Vietnam is a good guess, but like that's the thing, right? Vietnamese food and Indonesian food is so delicious and it has a lot of commonalities. So well done, Indonesia in this case was the right answer. Raya, Shake Shake, Amanda, Chainsmokers, Rania, Cutie Pod, Danar, Kaya, Z, 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 and it's me in the top 10. Seen or Cian, Cat, Ethan, well done to you too. I have tried rendang. I was in Indonesia. People sent me rendang, I remember. That was rendang, right? I think so. Alrighty. Two countries left. Here we go. What is the country known for a pastry filled with meat, cheese, or vegetables? Baked or fried? That sounds delicious. That sounds delicious. Pastry, guys. Italy is not really known for pastries. A pastry filled with meat, cheese or vegetables, baked or fried. I want you to look at Latin America. Focus on Latin America. A pastry filled with meat, cheese, vegetables, baked or fried, <clears throat> is of course an empanada. I had empanadas before. An empanada, guys. Where do, do empanadas come from? We had Brazil. But more delicious fruit from Latin America is, of course, an empanada from Argentina. Oh, I, I feel like if I come to Latin America, I'm going to be fat boy, Lucas. I'm going to be the chubbiest teacher because sheesh. Well done to Gal, of course, Rania, Shake Shake, Rock Rock, Amanda, Chainsmokers, Melissa, Genevieve, Ethan, Kat, and Vanessa in the top 10, Marsha, Xenia, 
and Sammy so close. Oh, all right. The last one. And it is a sweet one. Because what is the country known for sweet donuts made from squash and sweet potatoes served with syrup? Is the Netherlands known for something sweet? Holy baller. <laughs> Just holy <olibola>. baller. <laughs> <laughs> New Year is coming, guys. For New Year, we'll do, we'll do an Olibola mukbang. Don't worry. We will do an Olibola mukbang. Um, <laughs> but these are sweet, sweet donuts made from squash or sweet potatoes. Also known as picarones. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Picarones or just picarones. Which one is it? One or two? Picarones or picarons? Uh, so many delicious meals from great countries in Latin America. Because we have had Brazil, we have had Argentina. And how could we forget Peru? Well done! Picarones from Peru, Chainsmokers, Mail in Trinity, Soyerina. User 8730, Ron, Cecile, Sally, and Gal in the top 10. Peru! Well done to you. <laughs> you type to Peru down below, you get the last bonus point of today. FNY, then represent your country. What are you doing, bro? I can't do every single country, but I'm sure you have delicious food in your country. And I wish I could visit your country, come by and eat all your delicious food.